Hey there, it's Phoenix Jira, and I am just about to leave to go pick up the new chicks that I'm getting. This is a new adventure for me, and we're gonna find out how well I do. Fingers crossed that these little chicks have an excellent life. I have set up the brooder here in the garage, and I'm gonna show that to you in just a second. It's pretty warm in here and has been for days, it can get up to 90 degrees here in the garage, but over the course of this next week, the temperature is set to drop to about 75. It's gonna drop 20 degrees during the day instantly. And then at night, it's, not, it's gonna be in the 50s, maybe the 40s. So they're gonna be in the garage here for a while um, until they can get their feathers and acclimate before they go out to the coop. Otherwise, it's going to be too cold. It is September, early September right now. So obviously, I'm getting the chicks a little later in the year. But, you know, people do that all the time. So hold on a second, and I will flip the camera around, and you can look at the coop. All right, and here is the finished brooder box in the garage. I have the hot plate turned on, and I'm checking out the temperature. It should end up being about 90 degrees, I believe, at that height. Here is the heat lamp that I turned on to test, and it makes it about 85 degrees in the box. Now, the temperature in the garage is about a comfortable 70, 75, so that could be why the heat lamp um, put it up that high. I mean, look how high up it is. Now, I consider that pretty high above where the chicks will actually be. So I'm not, you know, I'm not sure on that. I have their water set up and it has little stones in there and I have the electrolytes in it to give them a good head start. I also put this, uh, I went to the dollar store and I got these mats that are gonna sit on the bottom for a time, not for a very long time and they're, they're a dollar. So when the chicks mess it up, I'll just throw them away. But this is just so that the chicks don't slip it's pretty, it's pretty rough, see? So it should be good for the first day or two. And then I have their food that will be put in there a little bit later, uh, or when, when they arrive. And I actually have a, um, a feeder that I'll put in here that's, you know, bigger and continuous for when they're a little bit bigger. But at first I'm gonna use these little lids because I'm going to be paying attention to them most of the time. <laughs> it's going to be an adventure. I have not done this before. I mentioned that before in another video or earlier in this video and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm at the hatchery. I'm about to get the chicks. Oh yeah. Okay, they're in the car and ready to go. Let's take a look. The temperature under the plate is about 95 degrees. Now, when I was at the hatchery, they told me I should use a lamp instead of this. So I'm a little confused. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I've got that in there, it's turned on, and it's raised uh, enough so that it doesn't get too hot. No. And here we go, we're gonna get out one of the little chickies. Hello, hey there. All right, now this is one of the barred rocks, I was told because of the little dot here. I'm going to set her down in her new home. And let her just kind of sit there for a second. Looks like she's got a little... I'll have to examine her in a second. I'm going to put her, I'm going to try and do this thing that everybody online does and put her little beak in the water. Okay, she drank some and now she's on my hand. <laughs> All right, so here I am stuck. <laughs> Not really, I can use another hand. Hey there, sweetie, you got to drink of water. There you go. Here's the water. Good enough drink. 
You want another drink? All right, well, we have, she got a drink of water. We're gonna let her sit there for a second. This is a black star. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get you some water. There she goes, all right. Do you wanna stay on my hands too? My goodness. Go ahead. Oh. Well, I like you too. Oh, there we go. She doesn't, want to, she doesn't want to get off my hand. Okay, so she really likes sitting in my hand. So there's that. Get on the ground, there you go. There you go. Now you can look around. Again, this is just a little floor mat. It should be pretty stable. And then I'll put the, I'll put the, um, I have some, oops, come on now. Some, um, I don't even know what I'm saying. Just a minute, I'm, I'm busy. Can't talk and do this at the same time, I guess. Come on. You know, they make this look so easy on YouTube. Yeah, just hold them in your hand and put your beak in the water. That's all you gotta do. Did you get some? Looks like you got some. All right, and they do like to just stay on my hand. There we go. There. So that's another barred rock. How are you doing with your walking? I'm, like, I'm watching their walking. Okay. Here is another black star. And let's see if I can get her. Ah, oh, there we go. Did you drink it? Oh, yes. There are your little buddies. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a thing. They don't necessarily want to get off your hand. There we go. That's not a bad thing, right? That's a good thing. All right, here is the last one. And this this is a different than the others. This is a Sagita. That's how I'm saying it. I don't know if that's how you say it or not. Come on, sweetie, let's get some water. There we go. There you are. So she's the, the lone Sagita. There we go. I didn't want to get too many. I hope that five is the proper amount. Apparently they're warm enough. They um, haven't gone underneath the brooder plate yet where it's really warm. But if the temperature in here in the overall garage right now, I've got a few more of these, is 80 degrees. So it's pretty warm in here in general, but if they go under here, it is warmer. And they are, it looks like they're venturing under there a little bit. Oh, and they're pe oh, wow. Well, wow. <laughs> and they're pecking at each other. So I'm gonna get them some food, because that might be a little bit of an issue might be like, well, you know what? We're kind of like hungry now. We had a taste of, of water, although they're not going back to the water. I'm gonna have to work on that a little bit. Here we go. Now I wanna tap this. What do you think of that? Oh yeah, I'm gonna get it. All right, so nice. Come over here. Come here, sweetie. Come on. Look at this. All right, she's checking it out. So this one is the black star. And this over here is the barred rock. I'm gonna move this over here so you can see it a little better in the camera. Because I just realized it wasn't really showing it very well. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, right here. Okay, well, the black star here is like figuring it out. She's like, um, pardon me. Let me show you how it's a, okay. <laughs> so the black star is teaching the uh, barred Plymouth Rock how to eat. And the other ones are under here. You getting warm under there? You wanna come eat? Check this out. Check this out over here. Yeah, look. Well, let's get, okay. Let's get them a little separated here. Look. Come on. 
Huh? There you go. Oh, that makes my belly feel good. What are you guys doing under here, huh? Come here. All right. <sighs> Mama Hen says, come and eat. Look at this. There's some food. Oop, oop, what are you doing? Oh, you need some water? Oh, yeah. Okay, she's going to get some water. Good. She's the first one who's drunk the water on her own. So that's good. I don't want to eat that. This one's sitting in the food, so that's helpful. <laughs> you piggy get over here there we go now i gotta find there's one more to find to get you guys to okay so the sagita is really going to town on the water hey you what are you doing in here you doing okay how are you this one does look a little smaller than the others i mean they're only a day old so how big are they going to be right okay here we go come on over here oh she's walking along there you go. You can't see this one over here in the camera, but it's preening a little bit. There you go. Come on. Get some food. Look. The Sagita is really, really thirsty. <laughs> She's like, check this out, guys. I know how to drink. I am so thirsty. Okay, so they're doing a little eating. A little drinking. Okay, now the Sagita's doing a little more eating. You can already tell she's going to be a piggy. Yep, going to be a little piggy. So they're, they're getting curious. They're, they're looking around, they're liking this. The car ride wasn't too bad. As a matter of fact, when I was driving, I was, I was looking at them and they were comfortable while the car was driving, like on the freeway. They were like, this is great. It's just like a baby, you know, if you can't get them to sleep, you take them for a car ride. I think they enjoyed the hum of the car. And it must be warm enough in here. They are not going under here at the moment, but uh, it is on. And like I said, it's probably 90 or 95 degrees under here right now. I'm actually gonna no, I'm not going to put the thermometer under there now. <laughs> I know how hot it is because I tested it earlier. At night, it might be different. But like I said, at the hatchery, they were like, you don't want to use these. You want to use the heat lamp. And I'm like, okay, well, that's like the opposite of what everyone is telling me. So I'm really not sure. So I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to watch them. And I'm going to see how they react. Okay? Ooh. Cool. Somebody got a little fluttery. Look at this little guy. Yeah. Come on. You're supposed to pick them up once in a while and let them know everything's okay. And she, a moment ago, is just really happy to be pet. She's like, this is awesome. This is a barred Plymouth Rock. And all of these are supposed to be pullets. We'll know for sure as time goes. She's a little wobbly. I have two. Plymouth Rock and two Black Star and one Sagita who is under there hanging out, staying warm. All right, this little guy, gal, I took and gave her a drink and doesn't want to get out of my hand. Of course, I know I can put her on the ground, but she seems to be falling asleep in my hand, which is probably nice and toasty warm. <laughs> And you cute. Yes, there she is. Look at that face. And let's take a nap. Aw.